Hello people, my name is Pratik and welcome back to my channel. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to do a short gaming test of Samsung Galaxy Tab A7. Now, I've been using this device for a couple of days now. So I thought let's try to make a gaming test of uh, Tab A7. Now, I just want to experience, I just want to share my opinion. Uh, like if anyone is willing to do gaming uh, or who loves to do gaming on bigger displays, then uh, how is the experience and all or who is thinking about you know buying a tab for gaming and all so i am going to share my opinion in today's video so we are going to play bgmi and cod on this particular tab over here so what are the basic specification and what are the settings option we get in bgmi and cod that i will explain in the video so we'll not waste much time without wasting any time if you're new to the channel subscribe to the channel first and let's start the video so before starting the gaming test, I just want to explain a few specification of this particular tab over here. So it comes with Snapdragon 662 processor. Now it has, uh, it comes with 11 nanometer technology. So it is not that power efficient, but talking about the battery in tab A7, it has 7040 mAh. So 7000 mAh battery is a good thing in tab. So talking about the display size, it has 10.4 inch display and the panel is LCD panel. Apart from that, uh, it comes with stereo speaker output. So one setup is at the top and other speaker setup is at the bottom. Now output is definitely good because I've already tested it. So yeah, uh, will not waste much time. Let's start into gaming. Uh, I'm going to do half an hour gaming. So 15 minutes we'll be playing BGMI and 15 minutes we'll be playing COD. So let's start the gaming and till the game starts, I just want to uh, tell you that I have already set a timer over here. So as soon as we start playing the game, we will start the timer and at the end of uh, 30 minutes or after playing game for 30 minutes, we'll check out the battery. Now, yeah, I forgot to mention one thing that uh, talking about the battery, as you can see on the screen uh, right now, it is 69% as you can see. So 69% is the battery and after half an hour, we'll check out how much battery is drained. Now let's start the gaming test. Okay, so the game has started now talking about the settings of gra uh, graphic option. Uh, if I go in graphics, currently it is on balanced medium. Now talking about the highest setting which we can get is smooth, high, we can get, we can get balanced medium and yeah, we don't have any option of HD, HDR or Ultra HD or UHD. So yeah, the maximum setting which we can go on tab A7 is balanced and medium. The device which I have, it has 64 GB storage and uh, 3 GB of RAM. So initially we are going to play on smooth high and we'll check out what is the experience. Now yeah, let's not waste any time. Let's select that match and we'll start the timer and we'll start the game. So currently the settings are balanced, uh, smooth and high, sorry. Uh, so currently the settings are smooth and high. Now if I talk about the graphics, as you can see, it, uh, there are not much details showing in the screen right now in the front wall. So yeah, basic details you can get, but definitely the screen is bigger. So uh, it might be good for some people and it might be bad for some people. It depends on your choice. So let's start the gameplay. So the gameplay is smooth, I would say, uh, considering it's a 3GB tab, gameplay is smooth, uh, the game is not lagging at all at this time. The sensitivity is also good as you can see I'm playing game from uh, almost four minutes now now if you uh, take a look at the screen it is sensitive and I would I must say even if the graphic settings are not on the higher side sensitivity is definitely good and gameplay is smooth So playing game on a tab is a good experience, but definitely the display feels big in your hand. And as it is a 10.4 inch display, it is not that comfortable. But if anyone is looking for bigger display to play games, then you can definitely take a look at uh, any tab. 
and particularly if you want a Samsung tab, then A7 I think is a decent option. We were going to win this one, but we are losing right now. So the gameplay was smooth on smooth and high settings. Now, if I change the setting, let's... Okay, so we were playing so we'll change the setting to balance medium okay so we were playing in balance medium only i i forgot to save the settings uh, at the start so uh, let's try now smooth and high we'll save it i forgot to save at the start sorry for that mistake so on balance and medium setting definitely uh, i would say the graphic quality was not that great and even uh, the picture uh, or the gameplay was smooth definitely but uh, yeah it's not that comfortable considering it's a tab if anyone is willing to uh, go for a bigger display then uh, they can uh, take a look at tab but yeah uh, it's not very comfortable for me now we'll play another match so if we start the match i will show you the gyroscope settings uh, we'll check out the sensitivity of gyroscope setting so yeah let's not waste the time so if i talk about gyroscope Let's check out the gyroscope setting. Now currently it is on close. If I do it always on and if I check. Yeah, I must say gyroscope setting is okay. Yeah, it is sensitive. It is pretty responsive as you can see on the screen right now. And yeah, the touch is definitely responsive as you can see. There is no lag over here or something. And sensitivity of gyroscope is also good. Uh, if anyone is a decent player or looking for a decent gyroscope settings then they can prefer the settings i am going to turn it off because i am not a gyroscope player so i'll close it so let's start the match now so currently the settings are on smooth and high and it is decent i would say uh, details are not uh, there but yeah there is no lag in gameplay at least so we'll play we'll complete this match and after that we'll play cod So yeah, 15 minutes are over since we are playing BGMI. Now, talking about the overall experience on this Tab A7, let's check the battery first. Now, battery is on 61%. If I show you the battery, the battery is on 61% right now. So in 15 minutes, we lost 9% of battery. And in smooth, uh, high settings, uh, gameplay is definitely smooth. Now let's play 
COD. Uh, the output, uh, stereo output is also good. Uh, it's pretty high, even though the volume level is not that much. I will show you the volume level once the game is on. So as you can see, currently the volume level is only on 50% or below 50% and still the output is good. Okay, so the game is started now. If I talk about the settings we can get in COD. So as you can see, if I go in graphics, on very high, we can uh, go up to medium and if I select high, it will automatically go to low in graphic quality. Now on we can play up to medium, medium, high medium and very high medium if i switch back to high then in frame rates if you go on high graphic quality will be low so as soon as i go on medium graphic quality once again frame rates are medium so yeah the maximum settings which we can go in cod is very high and medium so we'll play on medium medium first let's not uh, you know go to higher setting now so start the game we'll start the gameplay now let me resume the time so yeah, let's start the game and the volume level is on 50% right now. Yeah, let's keep on 50%. Okay, so sensitivity is good as you can see. Now, let's play the game. There is a bit lag if I play COD on this one. As you can see on the screen right now, definitely the game is lagging. There was a bit lag. Uh, I did not face any lag while playing BGMI, but while playing COD, definitely lag was there. Now it is smooth, but still. Now a game is a bit smooth but yeah not that much. In BGMI there was no lag but in COD I can definitely feel that lag in tab A7. And even the RAM is 3GB so yeah it was expected. I thought in BGMI also the game would lag a bit but in BGMI the gameplay was definitely smooth. 5 of them came at once. Let's burn them. It's a bit difficult to play on tap. Okay, I got all of them at once. Whew. We won the match and it's been 20 minutes so i'm not going to change graphic settings now because definitely i can feel a bit lag uh, while playing cod so yeah that's why we won't change the graphic settings let's change the map now we'll try playing hard point okay uh, talking about the charging, it is on 56% right now and device is definitely a bit warm, not that much, just a normal warm. Yeah, let's start the game. Uh, let's try changing the settings. Okay, let's, let's try it. Currently, we were playing on medium and medium settings. But let's check out uh, what happens if we go to high and medium. So yeah, let's not waste time. 
Uh, currently the settings are on high and medium and yeah sensitivity is good let's check out how it performs now Where are my teammates? So we won once again so it's almost uh, 29 minutes or 28 minutes 33 seconds let's skip this part so we're talking about the warmness of the device uh, it is a bit warm now yeah it is a definitely it is definitely a bit warm now and in very high settings uh, no currently we were on high settings and high medium i would say it is okay uh, i didn't find any lag in this one i don't know why at the initial stage on medium and medium settings there was a bit of lag which was clearly visible and on high and medium settings uh, yeah graphic quality is good uh, you cannot expect much and gameplay was definitely uh, smooth after some time but in at initial stage the gameplay was uh, lagging a bit not a bit it was definitely lagging as compared to uh, bgmi so yeah let's uh, talk about the battery now now if i talk about the battery currently it is on 52 percent as you can see currently the battery is on 52 percent so overall in half an hour now half an hour will be completed let me pause the timer first so yeah finally we did gaming for half an hour and talking about my experience i would say it was uh, pretty good uh, gameplay was smooth in bgmi as compared to cod and as you saw on the screen uh, in cod uh, at the initial stage there was a bit lag and yeah it was on medium settings but on high medium settings uh, there was no uh, lag actually but yeah uh, the uh, gameplay was definitely smooth on bgmi as compared to cod now if i talk about my experience and uh, the battery uh, in half an hour the battery came from 69 percent to 52 percent so it almost lost uh, 17 percent i would say and which, which is decent which is not that great and uh, because it has 7000 mAh battery so definitely the battery will stand uh, much more longer if uh, there, will, there, there will be no problem even if you are playing games for longer periods now talking about one thing which was very uncomfortable for me is that yeah definitely the device uh, is not very comfortable in hands uh, because i was uh, you know i'm not used to playing games uh, on a tab i'm more used to play games on a uh, phone now but if anyone is looking for a bigger display then yeah uh, tab a7 is good uh, not that great now this device was three uh, of 3 gb ram uh, there is there is one more variant which is in 4 gb option so yeah overall experience i would say on tab a7 galaxy tab a7 uh, it is decent not that great in terms of gameplay bgmi is decent you cannot go up to higher settings in that but if you are looking for a normal gameplay uh, you know you are not expecting much you just want a bigger display for good experience then i can recommend tab a7 now this was launched in somewhere around 2020 i guess so yeah it's almost two years now but yeah 
bigger display uh, output was good stereo speakers output was good and if anyone is looking for uh, gaming for a, a, on a bigger screen yeah i might recommend but i need to test this device a lot so i would say in my opinion my experience was decent not that great so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video guys uh, if you like this video if you like the game test and all so you can hit that like button if you have any question write down in comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this so i will see you all in the next one thank you